Yeah, I was actually just going to go right into that where I know you're big on, you know, women in tech and how hiring algorithms can essentially exclude some of the best talent that people, you know, don't even know to be looking for. And I'd love to hear your perspective on how algorithms maybe could be a little bit biased when selecting candidates or how to think about that when hiring. I'm very passionate about not using AI specifically for identifying candidates because our base currently employee base across markets, including US, I'm talking also the mature markets, let alone the emerging markets, is not stable. We have seen significant fluctuations pre-COVID when it comes to the employee databases that all of the companies had to work versus the COVID period where suddenly you saw, a, unfortunately, a drop on female candidates and female employees across the ecosystem. Right? So if you use AI to be able to do specific hiring actions, of course, it will be biased towards specific segments of the population. And that is predominantly the male segments of the population. Um, there is also another dimension that due to the lack of representation from specific also racial groups, think of the black community or the Hispanic community, there is also bias towards those segments. Uh, if you go the back, I would say five, four years in history. So the one thing that we do as a company, yes, we use AI on specific things of the employee experience aspect. So for example, skills matching. So from the moment you onboard an employee, how do you match the skills versus the task? Uh, on learning and talent development. Of course, why not? I mean, based on your personalized profile and your job, use AI to create personalized learning paths. But absolutely not for identifying hiring candidates. So that's why I said every company needs to have a responsible AI framework and there have to be some hard constraints and some soft constraints. This is where, this is one of the use cases that uh, we have to put hard constraints, otherwise inherently we will create bias in, in the representation of the population in our communities and in the industry. Hey, thanks for watching. This segment was made possible by our friends at Salesforce Commerce Cloud. If you're looking for the number one platform for all your commerce needs, go check out salesforce.com slash commerce. And don't forget to subscribe below and tap that little bell icon so you can stay on top of all the amazing new segments and full episodes that we'll be putting out over the coming year with some of the best and most influential commerce leaders out there.